everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're gonna do a different type of wedding series video because you guys specifically asked me to make this video, which is how did I become a wedding planner? And if you guys follow me on Snapchat, which you should if you don't, you have seen me be a part of some very elaborate weddings. I've been involved with weddings that cost $5,000, to $600,000. So starting from the beginning, I started my, or found my love for event planning when I was 16 years old. I'm currently 27, if you must know. And I have to give credit to the popular MTV show that used to be called My Super Sweet 16. If you don't know what that show is, it was basically a show about really rich, spoiled kids that had the most amazing, extravagant parties and I would always watch this and just be like in awe at how amazing these events were and I'm you know thinking in the future and that I want my party to look like that too. So I eventually threw my own Sweet 16. It was nothing like the ones on the show. But even though I didn't you know get a Lamborghini and you know Chris Brown didn't perform, I had a great time where a lot of kids on those shows spend so much time worried about Susie getting escorted out by security that she's missing her pink flamingo she ordered and the performance by Usher. So anyways, that's kind of how I got into loving event planning. So after my sweet 16, I then went into Halloween parties. So I actually threw a Halloween party for 10 years. 10 years in a row became Bianca's annual Halloween party. So it started off just at my house, just like a house party, and then it grew and grew and grew, and then we eventually just outgrew my parents' house and we had to get a venue. The neighbors kept calling the cops on us. So I mean, I don't have a personal record, but our house does. Now, although I started off with Halloween parties, which is very different than a wedding, there also are lots of similarities. So when it comes to planning, you are gonna have your fundamentals, like you're gonna need invitations, you're gonna need decorations, you're gonna need some type of food or drinks, you're gonna need a head count, you know, a venue, your start time, end time. All those basics are gonna be applied to whatever kind of party you're throwing, whether it's a birthday party, baby shower, bar mitzvah, wedding, whatever. So because I already had those fundamentals from planning in general, it was kind of an easy transition for me to go into wedding planning. There's no better way to learn about how to run a wedding until you do one or you're a part of being one. So I personally decided to start applying to my local wedding planning companies. I just went on Google and I wanted to find something that was near me. So I was looking in like a certain type of radius that I didn't mind driving to. And I applied to a bunch of different wedding companies. Now here's a little fun fact for you guys. As many jobs as I've had in my life, I don't think I've ever went into an interview and actually got hired. Sadly enough, every job I've ever had has been by referral or because I knew somebody, which is kind of the same thing as referral. But that's always how I've gotten my job, just because of connections. And even though that is a good thing, it kind of sucks to know that like I've never just gone into an interview and got the job. But I did not let that discourage me. I continued to apply. And there was, all, out of all the places that I applied for, only one company actually wrote me back and even let me get an interview. So I then went to the interview. I thought everything went well, asked me normal questions about my planning experience, and turned out I still didn't get the job. <laughs> so although, I did not get the job. She did email me saying that it was very close between me and another girl. She was surprised to get so many great candidates, um, but she still wanted to know if I'd be interested in working in the field like the day of the wedding if she needed some extra assistance. And I was like, sure. So that is how I got into wedding planning by working with this company. So although I didn't get the consistency type of job, I got to work at the actual weddings and that is the part that I loved. Now the extravagant weddings that you've seen on my Snapchat were either planned by me or I was an assistant to another main coordinator. So I often work with No Worries Events and I work with Dee 
or I work with Kate Carlson Event Planning and I'm like helping her. So depending on what they need, I might simply be shadowing the bride, make sure the bride has water, I'm holding her dress, holding her bouquet, just kind of being there for the bride. Or I'm more hands-on and I'm like setting up the tablecloths or checking with the vendors, maybe someone's late, calling people to see where they are, setting out the place cards. Place cards are tricky. If you have, I don't know, 500 guests and you have 500 name cards, who's gonna set those up? Oh, you are before your hair and makeup? No, no you're not. So after doing a few events with D and No Worries events, I actually got booked on doing my own weddings through some family friends. I think this is going to be the best way for you or anyone else that wants to start is going to be by using your inner circle. Because I threw a party for 10 years, my friends and family know I know how to plan, I know I'd have a good time, they know that I'm organized, so they already like have that established trust because they know me. And if they don't know me personally, maybe their friend knows me and I can get referred. So the very first wedding that I got to plan all my own from top to bottom was my husband's cousin. Shout out to Kamari. So I did her wedding. She trusted me with her big day and I helped her with the actual planning from decor, getting decorations, to also executing it the day of by being her day of coordinator. Now, the weddings that I have done, I have done three personally on my own so far, and these have been either family, friends, or referral from a friend. So once you even do one and people see how smoothly it went, people are going to ask the bride and or you about what you do, your company, because like, oh, I'm getting married next year, can I have your information? So just being on site and letting people see what you did, they're gonna wanna work with you. So no, I did not go to school for event planning. I went to Cal State Northridge and I majored in cinema, television arts, multimedia production. That's so more like an entertainment type background, but it still is production. With every production, there's like a schedule and being organized and making sure things are done on time. So because I kind of have that knack of like being on it, I can easily transition that into wedding planning. Now you could go to school for this, you could do some type of classes that teach you this, but they kind of just give you like a certificate. It is good knowledge if you don't know how to get the knowledge on your own or just gain the experience through like internships, but it's not mandatory. There are venues that require you to have a license and that's just getting a business license. If you are even thinking about being a wedding planner, I honestly believe that the most important thing is you and your patience. The only thing worse than a frantic bride is a frantic planner. There's been many times where I've worked different companies where like the boss or person in charge is super frantic and it's like paranoid about everything and you can't be like this if you're doing a wedding. Like you're gonna freak the bride and everyone else out. Like you just can't be like that. Now when I work with Dee, for example, she says she likes to hire me because I'm always calm and I know how to handle a situation with a smile. So I could run up to her and be like, it's raining, all the tablecloths are wet, we need to move everything now. Or I could be like, just so you know, it's starting to drizzle, so I'm gonna move the tablecloths just in case they don't get wet. Same information, but just so much better. I know that you think that this one sounds extreme, but you have no idea how often that happens, even with vendors. They'll just come over and they'll just be frantic. So it's like, you don't need to do that. You have to be calm. If everything is going wrong, you still have to look like nothing's going wrong because you are the one that everyone is turning to because it's the big day of the wedding, it's the birthday party, whatever. All eyes are on you and you are responsible to fix every problem. So if you are looking to start event planning or wedding planning yourself, my main thing would be to throw parties yourself. When you have a birthday party, some type of celebration, Throw an event, invite people, let them see what you can do. If you're not throwing it for yourself, maybe offer your expertise to your friends and family. You know that they have a baby shower coming up, you know that they might have a bridal shower or engagement party, whatever it may be. Offer your services and just see if they will give you a chance to plan their party for them. But I will say that the main way to get started, even like with your client base, is probably gonna be people you know, friends, family, coworkers, referrals from friends and family. But once you branch out of your little family circle, you will then expand to clients that you don't know and you will start taking on more events one at a time. 
So that is my story on how I got started with event and or wedding planning. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any more questions, you can leave me a comment below. And if you have any other wedding topics that you want me to discuss, leave me a comment, let me know, and I will add it to my wedding series. Before you go, make sure you check out my other wedding videos like these right here. I have a whole playlist about wedding tips and tricks I learned from my wedding and from being a planner. So I really think you should check those out if you are planning on being married anytime soon. I post new videos every Sunday, so I hope to see you guys next week. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee, today.